They're amongst the most experienced lawyers in the country, acting for one of the most notorious criminals, Curtis Warren, cocky to his friends. But it's not just Warren's freedom that's at stake. The reputation of Jersey police has also been damaged. The atmosphere in court today was more relaxed, despite the suggestion the entire criminal justice system had been tainted. After almost two hours, Lord Hope brought the hearing to an end. I think we've made the point quite frequently that there are numerous cases where, for one reason or another, evidence is improperly obtained. Yes. And if one's going to have to face a, an abuse of process argument every time that happens, it would really be quite ridiculous. It's a moral dilemma the Privy Council now face. Either let Curtis Warren and associates walk free or agree with Sir Richard Tucker that it's OK to allow illegally obtained evidence to stand in court. But whatever verdict the Privy Council come back with regarding Curtis and his associates, irreputable damage has been done to Jersey's police force. Today, at the Supreme Court, the island's Attorney General announced an independent inquiry would go ahead. We've always acknowledged um, and indeed made full disclosure of the fact that mistakes were made at the investigatory stage in this particular case. And that's indeed why the Chief Officer of Police uh, has announced, uh, I think today, that there will be an inquiry by Hampshire Constabulary into that. Jersey Police said the integrity of their offices was non-negotiable and hoped the Hampshire inquiry would provide a fresh perspective and thorough independent analysis.